we're going to have a look at bits and bytes. So along the left hand side over here, you'll see that I've made some columns and each column has got eight blocks in it. I've done three of these. Counting in binary, going units, twos, fours, eights, 16, 32, 64, 128. You can see that um, these are chunked out. Now, um, there's a couple of patterns to do with this. I'll explain about, about this, then I'll go what relevance this is to computers. So the pattern is that um, to find out what the sum of the uh, binary digits are, all you need to know is the next binary digit in sequence. Let me explain. So for example, the sum of uh, the units 2s, 4s, 8s, 16s, the maximum number you can have is 31. How do we know that? Because the next one is 32. Let's just add them up. 16 and 8 is 24 and 4 is 28 and 2 is 30 and 1 is 31. 31, next one is 32. Add these up, 32 and 16 is 48 plus 8 is 56, 60, 62, 63. Next one is 64. Okay, so 128, add them all together. Well, the next one's 256, the sum is 255. I've doubled all these up, so um, the third block of 8, 32,768. The next one, 65,536, means the sum of these is 65,535. So now, the explanation why have I done this? <coughs> You'd think that computers would be able to use one bit at a time. So uh, if a, a computer was to put some information into memory, here's a, some computer RAM, you would think that a computer would be able to just put one bit into the RAM. It can't. The minimum amount of memory that computers generally can use is eight bits at one time. So if I wanted to put the number 16 into memory, what's actually happening is the eight spaces for digits or signals, electrical signals, are being used. We call eight bits, eight spaces, one byte. So eight bits equals one byte. Now you'll have, you'll have heard generally of things like kilobits and kilobytes and megabits and gigabytes and so on. I'm not going to explain those here, but the main concept is that a byte contains eight bits. Now, your job for the external is to show that you're familiar with this concept of bits and bytes. Now, one way of doing this is to explain that computers generally use eight bits in, in a chunk at a time. That's the smallest chunk of information that can be used. And the, the 8 bits is called 1 byte. And then to give some examples to show that you, you understand this concept, so I'm going to go over three examples. So for example, uh, Waimati Main School, which is just across the road from me, has got a population or a role, a role uh, we'll say of 99. So to count the role of Waimati Main School, I could do that in one byte of information. So let's just uh, do the sum. How would that be? It would be a 64. So 64 plus 32 is 98. 96, sorry. 96. So a zero plus zero plus zero plus one, so that's 96, 98 plus one is 99. So how does this look all together? So this is what it would like as a look like as a byte of information. It would go one, uh, sorry, naught, one, one, naught, 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 
on one. There should be eight digits there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is what the population, the role of Waimati Main School, which has got, for example, a role of 99, would look like as a byte of information. It needs one byte. Now, other examples you could do uh, is, for example, the Waimati District, which I've Googled, and the population of that is 7,000. 630. Now, I'm not going to do this out in full, but you could see that the population will need somewhere around, well, it will need two bytes of information, and we're likely to have, um, the second byte is likely to start with a 0, 0, 0, and then a 1, and then another 1, um, and so on. So that would use two bytes of information, uh, something that might use Three bytes of inf information would be the um, Timaru population, which again I've Googled, and that's 43,929. So 43,000, still, I made a mistake, didn't I? That's going, to, um, that's going to use two bytes still, because it's less than 65,000. So you would need to do examples that have got uh, one, two, and three bytes of information. Do the um, explanation that shows how the bytes are used up, and you'll be fine.